Hi guys, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video I will show you box plot, violin plot and swarm plot. So in order to save some time, I have pre-written the code and I will execute that block by block. So let's get started. First of all, I have done few imports, pandas, matplotlib and seaborn. After that, I have read a CSV file in a data frame and then displayed it. So the data frame is based on cars and it contains few columns, but we are mainly concerned with three columns, selling price, transmission and owner. The selling price starts from 20,000 and the transmission is basically of two types, manual and automatic. And the owner contains few types, first owner, second owner, third owner and fourth and above owner. So let's take a look at our first plot that is box plot. So this is the code for box plot. The first line can be used to set the size of the figure. The first number here represents the size of x axis and the second number represents the size of y axis. I have set the dpi to 200. And this is the code for box plot. sns.boxplot. I have given the data as data frame and y axis as selling price and x axis as owner. Now I will execute the code. There we go, this is the box plot. On the x axis, we have the owner, first owner, second owner, third owner, and fourth and above owner. And on the y axis, we have the selling price. Although this is not a statistics video, but I will try my best to explain you box plot. So the line here in the middle represents the median or the 50th percentile. That means 50% of the data lies above this line, and the rest 50% of the data lies below this line. And if you want to split the data below this median line into 50-50%, then you will get this line. And same is the case with this line. So this is 25th percentile and this is 75th percentile. And together they make the interquartile range. So this box constitute 50% of the data. The rest 50% of the data lies outside the box. These lines are called whiskers and each of the two whiskers represent 25% of the data. By using box plot, you can get the idea of different distributions in a single plot. Here you can see that the first owners are selling their car at a higher price, which coincides with uh, real data. Now I will add hue to this box plot. Here I have said hue equal to transmission, and transmission is of two types, manual and automatic. I will run the code. You can see that in each of the owner type, we can also see the split between manual and automatic. Here the general trend is that automatic cars are usually sold at a higher price. And here the dot represents an outlier. And here you can see just a line because only one automatic car is sold at this price. Before moving to the next plot, I will first tell you the downside of box plot. Box plot tends to show the data as normally distributed, which may or may not be the case. The data can be very unevenly distributed, but box plot will always give you false impression that the data is normally distributed. And also some technicality is required to read a box plot. Not everyone can read it. Now let's move to violin plot. This is the code for violin plot. The parameters will remain same. Just they are interchanged. The advantage of volume plot is that you can see many distribution in the same plot and also the distribution individually. The white dot in the middle of distribution represents the median and the rest terminologies are also similar to the box plot. But here you can also see the distribution individually. Now I will add hue in this plot. Here I have set hue equal to transmission and split equal to true. And I will tell you what does split do in a bit. Now I will execute the code. We can see the split between manual and automatic. One thing that I forgot to tell you in volume plot is that the data above and below the vertical lines are just a mirror image. So we can use split equal to true to display the hue in that space. Let me remove split to show you the difference. Now the data of manual and automatic cars is shown completely different. This will look messy so I prefer the split method.
Here you can see one single selling of an automatic car that was also reflected in the box plot. Here. With this we have reached our last plot that is SOM plot which is used for displaying occurrences. So this plot can be used to display each data point in the data set. This is the code for SOM plot. You can see that in the data I have given the data frame with only 1500 entries. And I will explain you about this in a bit. And on the X axis I have given the selling price. And the size of the dots is equal to 2. I will execute the code. So on the x-axis the selling price is present and each data point is represented here. And in this plot 1500 dots are present. If I will give the whole data set it will give me a warning. Let me show you. I will execute this code. So it is giving me a user warning. 6.9% of the points cannot be placed. You may want to decrease the size of the markers or use a strip plot. So that is why I reduce the size of the records. So with this the video ends. Please like share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next video.